Hello and welcome to sapyard.com. We are ready for a new batch on SAP Adobe Forms for ABAP developers. This is one course for which we received numerous requests. We already have a very good tutorial series on SAP Adobe on our website, but still our readers and participants wanted a live instructor-led online training, and here we are. This will be a hands-on deep dive practical training on SAP Adobe Forms. SAP Adobe Form is one area in SAP ABAP which is one of the most underrated topic. SAP ABAPers who know smart forms and SAP scripts assume they know SAP Adobe Form by default. And there are some developers who have self-learned the topic and feel SAP Adobe Form consists of just form, interface, layout, alignments and context. But in our opinion those points are just the tip of the iceberg. Adobe Form developers need to know about patterns, floating fields, rich text, JavaScripts, form calc, conditional breaks, XML, ABAP PDF, Adobe in WebDIN Pro, Adobe integration in Fiori, PDF configurations and many more. Trust us, SAP Adobe is not just drag and drop like your team lead or the manager wrongly assumes. SAP Adobe is one of the best tools in an ABAP developer's arsenal which they need to learn correctly to master it. Let us look into some details what we plan to cover in this course. We will introduce the participants to PDF based print and interactive forms. We will discuss about online and offline scenarios. The trainer will quickly walk through the software components and architecture of SAP Adobe Form, the need of ADS or Adobe Document Service, Adobe Lifecycle Designer, Reader's Rights and Credentials. We will cover the properties, interface and context of form structure, views including hierarchy, data, master body, pages, script editor, palettes, library objects and other components of layout editor will be explained in details. All the topics will be followed by practical examples. Next, we will talk about the common naming conventions and industry standards in Adobe Form. We will learn how to design the form and handle images in Adobe. Images are one important part of Adobe and we will cover the images from SAP repository that is the T-code SE78. We will also cover images via URL and also cover dynamic handlings of images in SAP Adobe Forms. Just like images, handling text in SAP Adobe Form is one requirement which we have to do in every Adobe we design. We will learn how to handle standard text that is T-code SO10 text, smart form text module and also dynamic texts. Next in our agenda is context not types and data binding. We will look into some practical usage of different context nodes types like alternative, loops, tables, conditions, folders and address. We will also learn about subforms and master one very important concept in Adobe that is data binding. We will cover different real use case scenarios of data binding. Next we will cover patterns in Adobe forms. We will clarify how to use the date patterns and amount field notations. You will also love the usage of floating fields in Adobe Forms. And then we will dig into tables in Adobe Form. We will showcase the importance of table object library and then teach you how to use subforms as tables. Yes, subforms can be used as tables and that is very tricky. Next, the trainer will cover the usage of scripts in Adobe Forms. Do not be surprised. You heard it right. JavaScripts can be used in SAP Adobe Form to put some conditions and do some calculations. Also, we can use Form Cal. This will be one very interesting topic which you should not miss. We will explain in details the form generated functions in SAP Adobe and how to design practical solutions built around it. Barcodes and QR codes are next in our learning series. If you have worked in SAP script and smart forms, 
you already know how to use bar and QR codes. In this session, we will cover the best use case to design and place the barcodes and also talk in details about the different project requirements where barcodes and QR codes are needed. One size does not fit all and conditions are part and parcel of any programming architecture. We will cover conditional breaks in SAP Adobe form with real-time examples. A BAP PDF object interface, if FP PDF underscore object is one important interface which we should not miss. We will explain the need and solutions to use this interface. By now you have realized that we are gradually diving deep into Adobe forms and covering some advanced topics. XML based Adobe form will also be covered and we will also design and practice Adobe form which will be consumed in Webdin Pro ABAP. Do not worry if you have no knowledge of Webdin Pro. Our trainer will explain it with very good practical examples and you will have no issue understanding and using it. The next in our plate is integration of Adobe form in SAP Fiori. With S4 HANA, Fiori is the preferred user interface which gives excellent user experience. But PDF is needed in Fiori too. Yes, you heard it right. There are hundreds of use cases where clients will ask for a requirement where they want to open Adobe form from a Fiori app. This course will teach you the exact steps you need to accomplish this integration of Adobe form with SAP Fiori. Configuration of SAP Adobe form is our next agenda. Most functionals are comfortable with output configuration and NACE in SAP. In this course, we'll cover more. We will cover the use of Adobe forms in SAP functional areas and configuration techniques of PDF based forms. We will show the real time business scenario and some practical examples. Before closing the course, we will showcase many more applications of PDF based forms. We will cover the industry best practices for SAP Adobe. The trainer will also let the participants know the good to know points about SAP Adobe forms along with optimization of SAP Adobe form architecture. In this course, we will start with basics and gradually increase the complexity and use cases and end it on a high note of real business use cases. If you do not know anything about Adobe, this is the right course for you. We will handhold you and teach you all the concepts from scratch. Our specially curated assignments will concrete your learnings and you should be project ready to work in any SAP Adobe form project after completion of all the assignments and this training. Let us look into some important date, time and other information. The first day of the training is on 21st November 2020 at 7.30 am IST. This time is GMT plus 5.5 hours. So if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live classes. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. We are open for registration till November 11, 2020 and the payment of fee and enrollment process should end by November 16, 2020. The link to enroll for this training is in the description section of this video. Each class will be a little over 2 hours and the whole course will be little more than 22 hours. Recordings of the class will be provided after each live session and participants will have lifetime access to these recordings. The prerequisite of this course is that the participants should have the basic ABAP programming knowledge. The S4 HANA 1809 server access will be provided till December 31st, 2020. The server access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Please check the description section of this video for the course fee and other details. Thank you very much for supporting and encouraging SAP Yard. Please like us on Facebook Follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. Please email us at mailsapyard at gmail.com or whatsapp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three.
if you have any queries. Looking forward to seeing you live on the training day. Have a safe and wonderful time ahead. Thank you very much.